The Compass Rose. My name is Charlie Haffey. I am an elementary science teacher for the Norwood Public Schools in Massachusetts. What is a compass rose? A compass rose is a circle divided into equal sections. The sections have direction names. In the simplest form, we have a circle. We're going to divide it with two diameters to make four equal sections. Where the diameters meet the circumference, we're going to attach the following names. North, East, South, West. And you'll notice that there is a 90 degree angle between the diameters. These four names are called the cardinal directions. We can add a little more. We can take our previous compass rows and add two more evenly spaced diameters. And now we can identify the locations between the cardinal points. So between north and west, we have northwest. Between south and west, we have southwest. And you'll notice that north and south are always named first when combining directions. So the direction between east and south is going to be southeast. And finally, we have northeast. And you'll notice that now there is a 45 degree angle between the diameters. And these secondary directions are called the intercardinal directions. You can make it a little fancy. Here's one that I drew. You can make it a lot fancy. You can add more directions if you like. Here are the instructions on how to use a compass rose for the night sky. You want to hold it flat. That means parallel to the ground. As a matter of fact, you can just drop it right on the ground or put it on a table. You want to point north on the compass rose towards Polaris. But remember, keep it flat. You can make chalk marks or tape marks on the ground if that would help you remember the compass rose directions. The best type of compass rose for the night sky that would be a circular protractor. And if you just take one of these and you lay it down right on top of a table, what you want to do is just make sure that zero or north is pointing towards Polaris. Then you simply look over the center here. And if you look over the center and you need to find something that's to the northeast, you just follow this arrow, and there is northeast right there. If you want to find something that's 75 degrees from north, you come right over here, and looking over the center, you just follow this protractor mark right here, and you're looking at 75 degrees. This is the Compass Rose. My name is Charlie Haffey. And I am an elementary science teacher for the Norwood Public Schools in Massachusetts.